This was a request by some of yous. I bet that you couldn't wait for this video's release. Yes, I am here to discuss 10 reasons why Eric Cartman should be expelled from South Park Elementary. Number 10, dressing up as Hitler at school. Cartman in Season 1, Episode 7, Pink Eye, comes to school dressed up like Die Fuhr, also known as Adolf Hitler, and the punishment Cartman gets is dragging the Principal Victoria's office to see an educational video to explain why it's not cool to dress up like Hitler, and was given a ghost costume, which resembled a Klansman later in the episode. Number 9, fake being a transgender in order to use the girls' bathroom. In Season 18, Episode 3, The Sissy, Cartman gets frustrated over an occupied stall in the boys' room. Then he proceeds to put on a hair bow and walks in the girls' room pretending to be a transgender. Instead of a detention, suspension, or of course, even an expulsion for his PB Tom act, he has been given his own personal, fancy restroom in the janitor's closet. Wendy, in an effort to retaliate against Cartman for what he did, uses Cartman's personal restroom claiming to be a transgender herself and calling herself Wendell. Cartman proceeds to get furious at Principal Victoria and calls Stan gay because of dating Wendy. The restroom Cartman used eventually became a sissy restroom, which Stan later in the episode was forced to use. Hey, where do you think you're going? To the bathroom? Oh no you don't! You gotta use a sissy bathroom! Number 8, Disrupting an Assembly Making Fun of Dr. Nelson for His Dwarfism. In Season 11, Episode 1, with apologies to Jesse Jackson, Eric Cartman is seen laughing his ass off at Dr. Nelson just simply because he's short and mocking him for it. David Nelson thought that Cartman would stop at any point, but then Cartman continued to laugh at him in a form of mockery. Then in the office, Cartman gets called down to the office to have a talk about how to treat little people, then he continues to laugh at him for the same reason. When Nelson tries to give Cartman the taste of his own medicine, he calls all students down to the gymnasium to fat shame him when he walks in. When Nelson reveals to Cartman that he was behind this, Cartman laughs him again and mocks him again. Then the result was a fight, which Cartman wins the fight until Nelson floors Cartman with a single kick, claiming to prove a point. Number 7, measuring everyone's privates and putting it up on the wall. Sick-minded that Cartman would do such a thing. In Season 15, Episode 4, TMI, Cartman sees the physical results up on the wall. He gets mad that he thought his dick was 1.2 inches long. So he manages to measure the privates of the whole class of the boys, which later Eric Cartman fakes it to be 13.7 inches, which wasn't true, so he... He was made to measure his privates in front of the whole class like the rest of them, and it was 1.4 inches. Later, Cartman gets lectured by Principal Victoria for putting up something obscene on the school wall. The physical results eventually in the episode were turned out to be the height differentials from the past year, meaning that Cartman has grown 1.2 inches taller from the last year. Actual boys penis sizes? Gross! Hey, see? My wiener isn't 1.2 inches, it's 1.4! Number 6, presented a pornographic photo of a classman in class. In Season 11, Episode 2, Cartman Sucks, Cartman shows the boys a picture he took of Butters' penis in his mouth while Butters is asleep. Cartman believes that it made Butters gay, but it was actually vice versa. Cartman then proceeds to present the picture in show and tell and got the whole class disgusted by it. Dude. Eric, what the hell is this? Number 5, Taking It Too Far as the Hall Monitor. In Season 10, Episode 10, Miss Teacher Bangs a Boy, Cartman is made the Hall Monitor and is seen pushing another student against the lockers and threatening him. Then when he was confronted, Cartman kicked him, making him physically abusive. Number 4, Took a Dump on Mr. Garrison's Desk. In Season 12, Episode 9, breast cancer show ever, Cartman tries anything to get out of a fight after school with Wendy due to his fears of getting thrashed by a girl. So he at one point in the episode pulls down his pants in front of the class, 
and takes a shit on Mr. Garrison's desk, resulting him in an after-school detention just so he can't fight with Wendy. Eric, did you just take a crap on my desk? What's up? What's up? You crapped on your desk, Doug. What's up with that? Number three, burn down the school. In season seven, episode 13, butt out, Cartman and his friends start smoking, and then they throw their cigs in the dumpster while they were still lit, causing the school to burn down. But instead of getting in trouble for burning down the school, the parents were called because of their kids smoking. Number two, gave Kyle the HIV virus. In season 12, episode one, tonsil trouble, Cartman got the HIV virus, then Kyle mocks him for having the virus and laughs nonstop. Cartman sneaks into Kyle's room while he's sleeping and pulls some of his blood out with a syringe and puts it in Kyle's mouth, causing him to be infected. Then Kyle finds out that Cartman was responsible for that and proceeds to beat him up. And now we go into three dishonorable mentions. Dishonorable mention number one, constantly harassing Butters. In various episodes, Cartman sneaks into Butters' house and in his room, where in one episode he breaks Butters' personal belongings and trashes his room and gives him nightmares. Dishonorable mention number two, blazing the preschool teacher. In season eight, episode 10, Preschool, Miss Claridge was horribly burned because of Cartman and his friends convincing Trent Boyette to make a fire just so they could put it out. Miss Claridge tries to put out the fire, but she got burned so freakishly horribly that she becomes physically, socially, mentally, and emotionally impaired. Dishonorable mention number three, Shot Token. In season 17, episode three, World War Zimmerman, Cartman tricks Token into a fist bump in an effort to shoot him. Number one, killed Scott Tennerman's parents. In season five, episode four, Scott Tennerman must die. Cartman seeks revenge on a ninth grader named Scott Tennerman because of how he treated him. Cartman goes as far as to getting his parents killed and serving him chili with the remains of his dead parents, calling that Mr. and Mrs. Tennerman chili. Scott immediately bursts into tears seeing that he has become an orphan because of Cartman, even humiliated in front of his favorite band Radiohead. Well, even if this act wasn't done on school property, that is one reason why Cartman should not be around these kids anymore and should be expelled to juvenile detention. Sums up why Cartman from South Park should be expelled from South Park Elementary. If you have any more reasons, please comment them below. Now for the next topic in an effort to thank everyone for helping my 10 reasons why Principal Skinner should be fired hit 25 likes and 1500 views, I will now discuss 10 reasons why Bart Simpson should be expelled from Springfield Elementary, starting with number 10. 